Hello and happy Saturday. Good morning, wherever it is you're joining in from. I'm live in Toronto. The 6 T dot, whatever you want to call it these days. Hello, Elmar. Let's bring you up. Here we go. A second, a minute to join. Wherever you're joining from, just turn on this volume a little bit. Let us know where you're joining from. This is the second session. Hi, howdy, howdy, howdy. howdy. Hi, howdy. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. It's a good day to be alive, I think. Yes, yes, it is. I got up. I felt like I got plenty of rest. <laughs> so it was, it was good. Okay. Awesome. Well, welcome everyone, people who are joining. Let us know where you're joining from and what the weather is like, where you are, how you're feeling this Saturday. And if you're excited about today's topic, because today we're going to be talking about self-love and, you know, how that ties into preparing for attracting your soulmate, attracting the type of relationship that you desire and deserve. So, so yeah, so do let us know where you're joining from and let's let's get rolling okay so if you haven't met me before my name is joan i'm a dating and relationship coach specifically for divorced women over 40 and my partner in crime <laughs> Elmira, <laughs> aka briefly introduce yourself oh sure sure well i'm elmira i'm here in atlanta i'm actually a self-care coach and i focus on helping people get over heartbreak, get over their ex. And self-love and self-care is definitely a huge part of what I teach from my personal experience and from what I know about the body because I spent 15 years as a body worker doing massage therapy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's so, so crucial because I know that for a lot of people who are trying to get into the next relationship, especially after a heartbreak, they don't pause. They just want to just give me that next person and all will be well. But it's so important. Like self-care is such a crucial part of that entire process. And I think people really don't tap into it or really understand what it is. So in your own words, what would you say self-love truly is? And, and for people who are just joining, you know, let us know in the comments, what does self-love really, when you hear self-love, what does that mean to you? How do you interpret that? For me, it means catering to yourself and <laughs> and it's and it comes from a place of acknowledging when you may not be so loving to yourself, because in order for a, a lot of times, this is what I see happen when it comes to self-love. We are not that loving to ourselves. It's speaking words of kindness. It's speaking words of compassion to ourselves, even when we may not feel our best. Mm -hmm. Because it, it, it comes from a practice and knowing that you're beautiful, knowing that you're handsome, knowing that all of, all of this stuff. And I had a, and I'll tell you this morning, I was having like about, with self-love as I was getting dressed. I'm like, oh, your hair doesn't look that good. But then I snapped back because I was like, no, it's beautiful. You look gorgeous. You look fine. And that's what it's about. A lot of times we invite in things from other people because we're not being loving to ourselves. It's an action. It's an action of kindness. It's an action of compassion to yourself. What are the words you speak to yourself? Mm -hmm. That is what self-love is to me. Yeah. Like absolutely. Yeah. And and I think there's this misconception around self-love being 
like just self-care. Oh, I'll just take myself to a spa. I'll just buy myself this expensive pair of shoes. And yeah, that means I love myself. But from what you're explaining, it goes way, way beyond that. It doesn't mean that those things are not good. Those are nice to have. But it's more about how you truly feel about yourself internally. When you look in the mirror, can you actually look at yourself and say, I love you? Or is it like, ugh? Yes. Is, is it, is it crazy? Yeah, I know. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> so now imagine if you can't even say that to yourself. And now you want somebody else, an external human, to love you. And I think that's why self-love is so key. Because a lot of the times, people are looking for that external love. They're looking for someone outside. Just come and love me. But the question is, do you love you? And you can only attract as much as you love yourself. Because people are going to see what's on the inside. We spend too much time and energy focusing on what the exterior looks like. But the internal is what is going to determine the type of people that you're able to attract into your life. So I think self-love is so, so key. It's not just something like, I'll just go to the spa, have, go get my hair done, and I'm good. No, it's, yeah, external is great, but it's that thing on the inside. And someone was just commenting about Jodie or Shiny, but that's what it's about. When you start to love yourself, like truly love yourself, not just say, oh, of course I love myself. Everybody can say that, but really look in the mirror and be able to say, you know what? I love and accept myself. I'm all that to myself right whatever i've been through it's okay i love myself i respect myself i have standards for myself right i'm able to set, set healthy boundaries i'm able to own my own pain own my own responsibility i'm good when you're able to say that then you're able to start to glow internally and it starts to show yeah. and you're able to attract the right kind of people and i want to add something to what you're saying joan because this is something I've come to understand too when it comes to the relationship between self-love and self-care. You cannot practice self-care, which I look at self-care as like maintenance. Like what are you doing for yourself? What are you doing exactly. to care for yourself? Like you care for your house, you care for your car. Exactly. You cannot do any of that stuff. Eat the appropriate food, exercise. I did two exercises yesterday. I couldn't do any of that if I don't love myself mm -hmm. because I would be saying, oh, I'm not worthy of this kale or I'm not worthy of this rewarding relationship because I'm treating myself like dirt. No, you cannot do any of this stuff if you don't establish the self-love as a foundation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's exactly what we have in the comments where Joe is saying self-love is the fundamental foundation for self-confidence. It starts from you. Like, absolutely. Right. It, it's, it's, it's really an inside job. Like everything, everything that we, we teach every week is an inside job. You have to be willing to do the work and be honest with yourself. And some days you might not love yourself and that's okay too. Right. But it's about recognizing that and believing that, you know what? Yeah, I may not be perfect, but I'm perfect for me. I love who I am. I own it. This is me. Flaws and all, right? You're able to show up as your authentic self because you love yourself. And they're like, I'm going to hide parts of me. Or I'm going to focus so much on the exterior that nobody can really know what's going on within me, right? You have to be open and vulnerable enough. Love yourself and that way you can attract love into your life. <laughs> Someone says, sometimes I love myself too much unapologetically. And you should. <laughs> However, some people get close. <laughs> right? to people who beat them down emotionally and make them feel worthless. Absolutely. That is so true. Okay, so so let's so now we've talked about what self-love is. Maybe now we can talk about when you're pre preparing because the whole the whole theme of these live sessions is really, you know, as a precursor to our masterclass where we're going to be talking about, you know, how to get out of your own way. So, how is the lack of self-love you, you know, people Get, standing in their own way to their own happiness, to their own successful relationships. Why, how, or how important is it? And what are some of the things that people can start to do today to have bring more self-love into their lives to prepare them for their relationships? For me, it is acting as if you're in that relationship now. For ex and I can use my so, for example, I didn't wait till I met my partner, till I met my boyfriend to 
get myself flowers or something. I knew I deserve flowers. I I love myself that much because it's something I enjoy. I enjoy flowers. So why would I not do that for myself right now? It's taking action on the loving things for you right now. Not because you have a date, not because you have a boyfriend, not because you have a girlfriend it's taking that action right now and one of the things that i share with my clients and i did for myself too as an act of love i started doing certain affirmations because the the affirmations start to shift we're talking about the inside it starts to shift the inside it starts to Flip, I may have been saying things like, I don't love myself. And I used to say that. I used to say, like, I don't love myself. And it wasn't conscious. Some of this stuff is unconscious because of what we hear from society, how we grew up with our parents. And I had to start saying things like, I am love. I am loving. I am loved. And those practices led me to attract because I was intentional about inviting love into my space by affirming it with my voice, affirming it with what I was writing, what I was listening to on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like, I love that, really taking the action to prepare yourself for that relationship. And it just reminds me of, you know, some people I talk to and their life is kind of on pause. They're just waiting. They're like, when I meet the person, then life will start. Well, that's no. a sign that you, you don't really love yourself. Because if you do love yourself, like you're saying, you would do those things for yourself today. You're not waiting for someone external to come and make your life exciting, to come and give you some of those things that you think you want. Do it for yourself. When you do it for yourself, you'll be able to attract someone who can complement that and do even more. But I think this idea of just sitting and waiting and doing nothing and just hoping someone will love me. No, go love yourself. Go start by loving yourself and be that person already who is already in that relationship. And I don't want to get too much into that particular topic because I think we're going to really cover that when we get into the masterclass. But if you're wondering, because I know for a lot of people, the challenge is, oh, Joe, like, there's no time. How long does it take? I've been trying. It's been five years. It's been six years. It's been seven years. I've been single. It really doesn't take that long. There are no. things that you can do to make it manifest really quickly. And these are some of the things that we're talking about today. Start with self-love. Put yourself in the mindset, right, of someone who's already in that loving relationship. Do the things that you would do as if you were in that relationship. Show up as that person. And I'll give you an example. So there were a couple of ladies I, was, I went out with uh, like a year or two ago and they were like drinking, dancing on tables. And I was just wondering to myself, I was like, wow, interesting. Right, they're doing all of these things. Nothing, it's not good or bad, right or wrong. It's just at the end of the day, they're like, oh, we're just we're single right now, so we can do what we want. And then <laughs> like, yeah, but that's the energy you're in. You can't see now I'm single, I can do what I want and be wild and crazy. But then when I meet the person, then I will do better, whatever better is. Sometimes we keep waiting for that person to show up for us to be a certain way. Go be that way right now. To be able to attract a partner, the kind of partner that you desire, you need to be that person today. And it all starts with self-love. It all starts with you recognizing who you are, what you want for yourself, because it's going to be different for every single person. It's not what society says. It's what you truly want. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, Joan, what do you want? And Mara, what do you want? What do you need for your life to be happy, for you to be stable, for you to be supported, respected, whatever it is? Set those boundaries, set those standards and just be in that space. <laughs> I'm just sitting here laughing at the, the ladies you saw. But, but, that was, but it reminded me of, it reminded me of something and another action of self-love that I took when I was single. I started dressing a certain way because that's what I wanted. Not because I was going on a date or like I I purchased these satin robes like I love and I just wear them around the house. I mean, it was just, dude, I wasn't waiting. Oh, wait till my husband or my boyfriend sees me in this. It was more, I feel good in this. Why, 
why shouldn't I wear this right now? Why shouldn't I do my makeup? Why shouldn't I go buy that thing that that I truly enjoy? Do it now. Do it now. What are you waiting for? <laughs> what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? So let us know. Let us know in the comments. What other self love things, actions do you do for yourself? How do you show yourself that you love yourself? And this is again, if you have to be able to look in the mirror and say, "I love you," and really mean it, right? And be at peace with that. And then. What are some of the things that you want to do? What are some of the actions that you've taken to make sure that you're respecting yourself, you're valuing yourself, you're treating yourself how you want someone else to treat you? What are some of those things? Yeah. So, and I can, so also, say, I can also say it's a challenge. You're, you're talking about getting in the mirror and saying, I love myself. If you haven't done that previously, it's going to be a challenge, just like any other thing. If I was to try to get a job as a mechanic, I don't know anything about that. It's going to be challenging. Mm -hmm. It'll be challenging at first because sometimes it's uncomfortable because we haven't told ourselves, yeah. I love myself. I say stick with the challenge yeah. and do it daily yeah. because it's going to start opening up your heart. It's going to start opening up some things within yourself and, and breaking down walls. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's the, that's the starting point to really love yourself and then going out and doing things for yourself. And another reason why it's so important to love yourself and really respect yourself is it helps you make better decisions in choosing partners. Right? Mm -hmm. When you're in that state of lack, so I don't have self love and I'm waiting for somebody external to come and love me then you settle for anything anything that shows up and says i love you like because you're lacking so much self-love you just jump at it so everything who's available toxic or not you know yeah. in alignment with you or not same that it doesn't matter as long as somebody shows up to give you that external validation of love you jump you get excited right because they're coming to fill a void go and love yourself first be okay with you be happy do things that make you happy and then you will attract somebody to complement that so i think it's so important in terms of when it comes to actually seeking or choosing a partner you're not in a hurry you're not desperate like you have standards you have values you're like i'm not a match keep going i love myself enough to say no hey louisa yeah that's so critical yeah so let's talk about a little bit about the masterclass. The masterclass, get out of your own way, the five steps to getting your dream man in 2024. Yeah, well, the masterclass, everybody, is coming up on July 20th, and you should be there because we, me and Joan, are going to outline five steps to attract your dream man this year because <laughs> as we mentioned before you can do it rather quickly once you apply these principles in the class we'll be doing certain activities and and one of the things i've learned too when it comes to master classes like this one of the the, the biggest step is just showing up because when you show up for yourself and you're willing to absorb this information and then apply the five steps, you're going to see yourself shift, grow, change, love yourself more, be more attractive, get in that loving relationship you want just by showing up, by doing something you have not done in the past. Because we've tried it all. We tried, okay, I need to get on this date, this app, I've done this, my friend told me to do this. Well, have you tried to put in some time into learning yourself better and coming to a class, devoting some time to elevating? Yeah. And that's what I say, it's something different. It's, it's something, something It's something different. And I think we even mentioned it last week where there was nowhere where we were taught how to do any of these things. A lot of people, relationships have been pretty much trial and error, just trying to figure it out. 
right? And sometimes it's easy to just stay stuck in that. I, I just keep trying and trying. Oh, but it worked this way for this person, but it worked they, that way for that person. If I prayed a little bit harder, our mind will show up. I'll find somebody to love me as I am. Like a lot of all these narratives that we have, a lot of this conditioning that we have, holding us back, holding us back. Now is the time to really invest in yourself and really be honest with yourself. None of us, I have to learn I have to unlearn, learn, study, try to figure this thing out, go through a lot of interesting experiences to get to where I am today. And so did I, Elmira. And so this is an invitation for you to honor yourself, right? For you to invest in yourself, to get the knowledge that like Elmira is saying, even just showing up can start to, you know, have that shift in your life where you can start to see things differently. You can start to unlearn some of those things that we learned or that we didn't learn because we just kind of picked it up as we went along. You can start to learn how to truly apply yourself to be able to attract the kind of love that you deserve. There are millions and billions of people out there available, they're everywhere. It's not whether you're attractive enough, it's can you attract the kind of people that you're looking for? And I think that is really, really the key. Wow, what you said was just the word right there. You said it's not that if you're attractive or not, it's whether you can attract the person you deserve. I love that. Yeah. Okay, so Lisa's saying for the longest time, women were waiting to be chosen. Absolutely. It's good to know that we have a choice to choose how we want to be loved. Absolutely. And again, it goes back to self love. Do you even love yourself? If you don't love yourself, how do you even know how you love to be loved? Ugh. A lot great question of self-awareness <laughs> it's just so yeah much work that needs to happen there's so much work that needs to be done so again if you haven't signed up for the master class you want to do that i'll put the link in the comments well it's masterclass.datingwithjoan.com but i'll put it in the comment section please go and register we're just going to have a fabulous time together a lot of learning a lot of activities a lot of introspection a lot of light bulb moments, a lot of ahas. Oh, oh, I thought that was this. Oh, I didn't even know I had that limited belief. Oh, wow, I didn't even know this is what my ideal man looks like because for a long time, we all went with the tall, dark, handsome because that's what society <laughs> told us is important. Or, oh no, he has to be rich. He has to be a provider because that, again, that's what society has told us. But what does your soul really, really want? And those are some of the things that we're gonna be dealing with. We're gonna be dealing with healing have you even let go of all the baggage from your past relationships because you need to get rid you need to get rid of that baggage get rid of that baggage and then start to identify what is it that i truly want in a partner and then how do i go ahead attracting this kind of person into my life those are some of the things that we're going to be covering in the master class fun times ahead <laughs> <laughs> i'm just super excited i'm just super excited okay so anything else anything else before we wrap up for today any other thoughts on self-care on self-love on choosing you right that, that was the statement i heard a couple of years ago where i think it was james altucher whatever he said choose you and i'm like whoa he said choose you in every situation choose you it's so easy for people to want to put their, their kids before themselves they want to put their partner before themselves they want to choose you it starts with you love you first yeah. yeah, you you have to, and it, it, to to add to this uh, choosing you, it, it this weekend you can apply that this weekend before you go out and do something for somebody else or hey I gotta get to this person's birthday party and get them this gift give a gift to yourself mm. like <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> Before you, because the, the initial thing for us is, I got to go here, I got to do that. I, I used to be that person too, particularly in my industry of massage therapy, growing up with seeing my mom be just the extreme giver. And there's nothing wrong with giving. But if I don't have anything to give, and because I haven't given myself that love or I'm out here shopping for other people. Take yourself out on a shopping trip. Like, I'm just, <laughs> like, seriously. Yeah. And I think that's a fabulous way to kind of end today. So in the spirit of, of self-love, 
do one thing for yourself this weekend, right? If you haven't done the in front of the mirror, I love you exercise, do that. <laughs> That's the yes. one thing. But if you've done that and you know that you love yourself, then take an action towards showing yourself that I love you. You are number one, right? And just practice mm. that while you sign up for the, for the masterclass. Because <laughs> we're going to go yes. a lot deeper, like a lot, a lot, a lot deeper, a lot deeper. Okay, any final words before we wrap up for today? I think that's it. I think we've said it all. We've covered it all. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us. We'll be here one more week. So next week is our final live session before the masterclass coming up in two weeks. So go ahead and register. Join the Facebook group. Join the community. There's lots. We're giving away lots of things. A lot of, I'm not going to spill, but go join register for the master class and you will not regret it you'll be happy that you chose to invest in yourself invest your time in yourself and your love all right bye everybody bye. it's been a pleasure bye, thanks for joining <laughs>